Hi, we're Rich and Lydia Dikas, and we help lead David's tent here in the UK. The last couple of months have been quite hard for a lot of us, I think, but God is good and he has been speaking in the midst of it. And in this video, we would love to share some of our thoughts with you. So we're worship leaders and we love nothing more than to get together with other people to worship. Mm. And it's been such a frustrating time that, that all of those things have been stripped away and we've all had to figure out how to do this online church, online worship thing. And if, but in the middle of that, I feel like there's two invitations that God has been giving to us in our worship. And firstly, it's this stark reminder that worship was never meant for our pleasure or for our benefit. Mm. It's for God's glory. It's to him, it's for him, and it's about him. And it's in his kindness and in his mercy that we can share in his joy as we worship. But I feel like that's the invitation that as, when we come back together, that the worship that we express as a group is purely about him and mm. his glory. And just because he's worthy, not for how good it makes us feel. And secondly, it's been this moment of reading through the Bible and seeing you know, in Amos 5 and in Matthew 25, God makes it very clear that the value that he places on our expressions of worship is based on our whole lives and how, lo how well we are loving the downtrodden, the poor and the outcast. Mm. And so for us, it's been a time of reevaluating how well are we doing that in our own lives? Because it's not like we can just ignore all of that stuff and then come together and sing and expect God to be pleased with our offering. What he wants is our whole lives, to honour him with our whole lives. So that I feel like those two things are invitations that we come back when we come back. And that day is going to come when we can sing together safely. And the reason why we're doing all of this social distancing is, is to protect the vulnerable. And when the day comes that we can come and worship and sing together, that's our prayer, that we would come with purer hearts and that the whole of our lives would be expressing pure worship to him. Mm. Oh, can you imagine that first day again mm. that we worship, all yes. of us? Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Oh, the other thing I would love to share is, so about 18 months ago, I really felt the Holy Spirit say, I am about to shake the foundations. And to be really honest with you, I wasn't very eager <laughs> to receive that because nobody really likes shaking the foundations, you know. Um, but in Hebrews 12, it says, once again, I will shake not only the earth, but the heavens also. This means that all of creation will be shaken and removed. And one of the other things you can read for removed is like taken away from somewhere or something or deta detached or separate or disconnect. And that's how, how we can feel, right? We can maybe feel disconnected with, with our church or even maybe with our heart because we feel disconnected from God or, or whatever. But it doesn't finish that. So that only unshakable things will remain since we are receiving a kingdom that is unshakable. Mm. Let me read that again. Since we are receiving, we are receiving it right now. We are receiving a kingdom that is unshakable. Let us be thankful and please God by worshiping him with holy fear and awe. For our God is a devouring fire. Isn't that amazing? We are receiving an unshakable kingdom. Wow. Amazing. Do you have any more thoughts on that, love? Well, just I love that the end of it is that call to fear and awe, that we would worship him. Mm. That call to worship that as as the things are being taken away and being shaken, we're receiving something new mm. and the response is in worship. So that's what we're trying to do over these two days. So yes. we just encourage you wherever you are, in whatever way you can right now, just to fix your eyes on Jesus, on his all-consuming mm. fire that is in his eyes. And God, I pray that you would teach us how to worship yeah. in this time, that you'd turn our hearts towards you, mm. and that you would help us to receive what you've got for us in this new season. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen. So let's just continue to press in and worship. If you want to yes. share what's going on where you are, just use the hashtag we are Davis Tent. And uh, yeah, yeah, join with us as we continue on in worship. Oh, we love you and we miss you and we can't wait to worship together one day. We did it. <laughs>